Yo, yo, yo. Her latch is on. Everything lined up. Um, but I'm not focusing on Layla in this video. This time, I'm focusing on Reina. Putting in a GSR transmission, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get into it. Once I uh, change out of, you know, out of my good clothes, you know, put my slides and my sweatpants back on. <laughs> Forgive me if I probably miss some parts and like, you know, putting the transmission on and everything because I'm putting this on and then also I'm recording at the same time, trying to, so forgive me. <laughs> but first things first, what you wanna do is get a broom and dust pan and sweep up the dog shit if you got dogs. Because for some other reason, this damn dog love the shit next to my damn car. I shit nowhere else besides next to my car. So you know, safety first, jack stands. Not letting the car sit on the jack because that's scary. Gonna need a 32, 14, two 17s down here. The 14 for the half shaft bolts. Definitely disconnect the battery. Disconnect the starter, the bitch pin, which is the annoying thing to do when dropping the transmission. That's why they call it a bitch pin. 17 bolts around the housing. All right, so I pretty much got almost everything I need. Start getting this transmission off. And next, I'm gonna take off the 17, and then the two 17s right here for the low control line for the fork. If you can't get this socket out just by like turning it to get it out, you can either bang it out or we're gonna put a ratchet on it. And as you turn to loosen it, you pull at the same time and it'll come right out. Like that. And remember to always put the bolts and nuts together so you don't lose anything. You can either have the bolt sit with the nut or be smart and put it right back where you got it from. All right, Axel is out. I done brought out gloves and I'm not even using them. The shift linkage, which is a 10, the bitch pin and the 219s up here. The shift linkage with the 12, not a 10. My mistake. All right, so this is the bitch pin. I end up using the 12 from the shift linkage and the hammer to tap it out. That took a while, but starting to run out of sunlight now. All right, so I'm pretty much out of daylight. I started late because I had a job interview today. Some people said they were going to come help, but of course, they ain't show up. The T bracket bolts out the 219s. The back bolt right there, the transmission, which is a 17. All right, so it was next morning. Got the starter out. That long as 14. Just this bottom one, which the main bolt I hate. Next thing to do, the 17s around the uh, transmission casing that goes to the block. And then the two 12s on the slave. And there's also one more bolt right there on the back side. All right, so the whole bottom side is set. Slave is off. Um, speed sensor is disconnected. The bolts to the transmission to the block is broken free. Torque mount is unbolted, it's 214 millimeters. So for something to support the motor, I put my wheel and windshield washer fluid reservoir. All right, so cleaned up the GSR transmission a little bit. This is the LS transmission, DC4, DC2. Uh, pretty much to put it back in is reverse order of how you took it back out. Um, don't forget to put shift fork on and also your throw up bearing. This right here, and just pretty much have this go in. I can't really record it because I need both hands for this, I think, at least. Just get it in. Make sure you grease it up as well. And then you also make sure you snap right back into the ball with the spring. ready to go back on transmission is man this shit took a lot doing this shit by yourself damn first second third fourth fifth reverse oh, great okay let's try this again <laughs> Our transmission. Yeah, transmission filled. 
be it for this video um leave a comment let me know if i explain anything or missed a step or anything for you guys i'm really am slowly building two integers got the gsr transmission now all i need to swap in the turbo kit she'll be done soon getting there it's the ls i'm gonna keep this because ls transmissions are good for turbo other than that i'll see you guys in the next one peace out